equestrian world, we share some winter warmth in Florida with one of Ireland's star riders. We have a taste of things to come as we preview our team's recent road trip to Uruguay in South America. And we head down to England's West Country to visit an inspiring daughter and her famous mom. Hi, I'm Mary King. And I'm Emily King. Welcome, Welcome to, to FEI, FEI Equestrian, Equestrian World. Time now to head to Florida, USA to the 37th Annual Winter Equestrian Festival held at the Palm Beach International Center in Wellington between January and March. Numerous events ranging from FEI five-star shows in jumping and dressage to junior competitions take place on this 160-acre site over the three-month period. The events also offer opportunities for North, Central and South American riders to gain valuable FEI World Ranking points so they can remain competitive on the global stage. Many overseas riders come to Florida around this time and we were fortunate to spend a few days with one of Ireland's top international jumping stars, the Olympic medalist Kian O'Connor. Yeah, the, the WEF of it's called, the Winter Equestrian Festival has developed so much here over the years. I, I came the first time uh, in about 2000 and it was a very different setup then. Uh, I think we had the First Nations Cup then on borrowed horses, the main arena was grass and there was just tents around. But uh, what really strikes you when you come here is the enormity of the, of the farms, uh, the hundreds of farms that, that surround the horse show, um, little places on a couple of acres that just look like private dwellings and there's uh, 10 to 20 horses in each one. Uh, sand arenas, palm trees, it's, it's surreal really. Um, but to be able to come here and uh, to make it pay is what it's about for us. This time of year in the warm winter sun has always been hectic for Kian and his team, which now includes Ross Mulholland and Michael Kelly as full-time riders. But over the last few years, their routine in Florida has become even more intense. Yeah, I suppose I try to combine everything, uh, jumping internationally, producing young horses, uh, buying and selling horses and then of course coaching has become a huge factor really since since the London Olympics and um, the business has kind of taken off for me in that respect and now I have four clients uh, based with us at Carlswood uh, full-time so uh, we manage everything for those clients in terms of their staff uh, their training regime planning their careers what shows they do Carlswood Stables I, I named after my my grandfather uh, Carl Mullen he was a very famous Irish rugby international and uh, that's, where, that's where we got the, the moniker. But it, it is a movable feast insofar as the shows now are, are all year round and all over the world. And we tend to come here to Florida, myself and, and my team, and then the students come with us to Europe for the summer. So uh, it works very well. Kian's team are based at Adina Springs, close to the Winter Festival showground. The farm is home to Nikki Walker, the granddaughter of Frank Stronach, the owner of the Stronach Group, that specializes in horse racing, owning and operating some of the most prominent racetracks in the United States. Together, they've become key patrons to Kian, who coaches Nikki and helps her throughout the year with her horses. Mr. Stronach, who bought Blue Lloyd from Kian after his bronze medal success in the London Olympics, also owns the highly talented Gelding Goodluck that Kian has developed such a successful partnership with. Canadian Wesley Newland has teamed up with Kian this winter, joining Emily Short and the young American Lily Keenan, who after experiencing success in young rider competitions, is now looking to step up. She's very determined, she's very focused, she, Lily's very lucky that she's got great support from her family, but um, what I see in her is a, a, an untypical, I suppose, work ethic and determination that you don't see out here as much as you would in Europe, and I mean that in the greatest respect, but uh, she wants this job, she wants to do it, and she's hungry, and um, I think that combined with talent and the right horses, good program, good coaching and management, she'll go a long way. Keep a lookout in the coming months for the feature we've shot with Lily. Between the four girls, myself and Ross, we were around 31 horses to take care of. So even as you can imagine, doing the plan for the following day as to where each horse has to be, what arena, what class, or even if they're not showing, what work is, is going to be done with them. So we tried to plan the day that it runs very smoothly and it really has to run like clockwork. Add his wife Ruth and young son Ben into the mix and it's hard to believe that Kian has time to compete. But before we arrived, he jumped double clear, helping Ireland to victory in a Nations Cup four-star event. 
Nations Cup jumping is the best there is because it's the truest test of horse and rider. It's two rounds over a grilling course. There's always a combination, a true bar and a water jump, which are three things that many of the other five stars don't have in their first rounds. And you've got to go back in the second time over the exact same course and do the same thing again. I think that's why it's the toughest test. It's also the best test for a, a team manager to see who's able for a championship. Kean's competed in all corners of the globe, but as a patriotic Irishman, events back home will always be close to his heart, especially where the Nations Cup is concerned. Dublin marked the, my 100th cap, which was great, and it was nice to win there. Yeah, Dublin Horse Show is as good as it gets. I think if you ask any of the young Irish kids riding at home, they'd all say that they remember watching Eddie Mackin jumping on TV, and maybe nowadays it's some of us that they watch, and uh, they want to emulate that someday. There really is something for everybody there, from, from the working hunter to, to, to young horses, uh, loose jumping, kids on ponies. It's just a tremendous occasion. Uh, to watch the Nations Cup in Dublin, I suppose, it's not just horse people that come out. It's a, it's a major day on the sporting calendar in Ireland. And um, it's certainly somewhere where we all try and go really well. Everyone likes to build up towards Dublin and everyone aims to be part of that team. After the Winter Equestrian Festival is over, Kian will be heading back to Europe. Qualification competitions for the 2016 Nations Cup final in Barcelona are looming. And then there's the question of who will go to Rio. 2016 is, is going to be a, a busy year, a hectic year. Um, I tried to plan backwards every year for my main target. And in, in November 2014, I approached Mr. Stronach, Nicky's grandfather, to buy good luck with the aim of going to Rio. And obviously we wanted to qualify as a team. Unfortunately, Team Ireland fell short of that. Um, but there is one slot through the great efforts of Bertram Allen. He secured one slot for Team Ireland. And Robert Splane will be the one with the task of selecting, I suppose, who has the Olympic horse. And in the end, that's what we want. We want to, we want to go there. The best combination should go. Who has a chance to bring back a medal for Ireland? Time will tell who gets the ride in Rio. But for now, even on a day at the beach with his family, it's often hard for Kian to escape his daily routine. I think Good Luck is the best horse I've ever had in my career, so that's why I'm so adamant about uh, going to the shows this summer, going to the Nations Cups and the Grand Prix, and proving that we're a worthy couple uh, for that spot in Rio. Uh, the master plan it revolves around hard work, buying and selling horses, coaching and competing. If I do my job right, I can balance both. So I think we're doing okay, and uh, you take stock every three to five years and see where you're at. Um, would I like to be doing this in 20 years? No, probably not. Hope to have the money made and put the feet up by then. We'd like to thank Kia for the time he shared with us in Florida. Hopefully we'll join him and his team at their European headquarters this summer.